Well, it was a great ride. Three episodes, Hero has realized that this game's not worth playing. He's done. He's quitting. Let's go home, folks. The show's over. But no, we know he's going to be back to either this or something equally bad eventually because we're only three episodes into a one core. And as far as I know, the source material's ongoing. It gives me the suspicion that he's going to get addicted to this game. I have a feeling either A, real life's going to be even shittier than what he just experienced, so he's going to go back reluctantly to his game, or two, he's going to play other games and realize that they're not immersive enough for him after experiencing the horrors of Martin time, adult time, every bit of time that he just experienced serving that jail sentence and it's gonna be interesting to see how they rope him back in because honestly i'm glad he said what he said at the end screw this game it's a piece of shit i am done this is horrible i love this show i think the best way to explain like how much i enjoy the humor is rather than most comedy series that i watch and i say oh it's entertaining but only a select handful of jokes actually make me laugh this is one of those shows that even when i'm not laughing i'm smiling throughout the entire episode because one it's entertaining to see how they're taking those cliches and reinventing them for a pretty entertaining way such as the idea that hero playing any game he understands that the hero killing a demon lord something like that he can use that to his advantage to get out of this prison sentence. And the guard says, oh, you're one of those crazies who thinks that? Okay, yeah, we're just going to get you to the jail sooner because I can't deal with you crazies. There's plenty of ways to take tropes that are generally like, okay, here we go. He's going to get out of this scot-free because he's the main character. No, he gets thrown in jail and then he gets tortured after thinking he's going to have adult sexy fun time. He actually ends up in a BDSM situation where it's not fun candle wax whips, it's I'm gonna sever your arm and I'm going to laugh when you piss yourself. This is a show that has moments that legit make me laugh out loud, but I'm constantly like either shocked or smiling, maybe sometimes both, seeing the dead friend finally pop up you knew was gonna happen after last week and this one crazy fat guy talking to seemingly the two people that he killed, and just the antics that followed. I mean, Hero's the type of character who you just feel bad for. He's not one of those, like, protagonists that, you know, had a fine life. He has nothing to complain about. No, like, he legit has a pretty shitty life, and you understand why. It's just, he wants to escape. He wants to have fun, but he almost does video games in a way that is unhealthy because he really is trying to not tackle his problems head-on. He'd rather pay his bullies and go play a video game, right? I think next week is probably going to be the most interesting episode just because it's going to be very fascinating to see how he gets roped back in or if he actually is really going to try to distance himself because obviously Riona, she's not going to want that to happen but I mean when you're literally almost about to get killed and you had to feel that pain it's pretty hard to convince a man to come back but if something truly bad happens with his sister or the school or the bullies right there's plenty of ways for him to say I don't have money I can't afford to play other games then again, he could replay a game, but maybe that's going to kind of go into the hand in hand, the idea that, you know, they're just boring because one, he's already experienced it, and two, they're not realistic enough. It could very well go into the territory of he just grew addicted to the pain in a lot of ways, and that could be fascinating. But nonetheless, like, this game is without a doubt the worst game to play, but the best game to watch a character experience. It's entertaining as hell for me, but there's no way in hell you could point a gun at me and say you're going to play that game. The fact that if you get a prison sentence, you can't log out until the event's over, and who knows when the event's going to be over? I mean, there's no way in hell you'd want to play that. I did see some people make arguments on why they might want to, but me? Nah, -uh. I just, just pulled the trigger at that point. We ain't gonna play this game. This shit's just too wild. But I love the idea of just simply him having to serve the sentence and just him trying to get out of it, to then finally getting Martin Time. Martin Time was one of the funniest things the show has had. The fact that he, like, just so casually says, is Martin time, as you have this horrifying image. Do you remember that promise we made under the tree? Another cliche, the childhood friend promise. He didn't experience it. He has no connection to it. So the fact that he's going to be every day haunted by his dead friend, who was eating an apple with a knife, and because of the push, he ended up killing him. And until he realizes what that promise is, he's going to continue to haunt him. And I have a feeling, just based on this guy's luck, even if he did remember he'll find another reason to try to spook him. And then you have, of course, the sister, who's still alive and kicking, but now is blinded because of what our little fairy did, and that probably is just gonna piss her off more. It's just like, everything about this guy's life is just shit right now, and for a viewer watching, that makes for a very entertaining show, but if you place yourself in his shoes, the poor bastard. I actually like, though, how this is a show that touches upon, I think, genuine questions that any gamer would have, 
If you're going to have VR that is this complex, that you can immerse yourself in a world that lets you feel all your senses, when a prompt comes up saying this is going to be very adult oriented would you want to continue i mean i think most people who are sitting in a room who are alone and have nothing going on are very much probably going to be in a similar situation to hero where he's thinking he's about to have sexy fun time but if you watched the trailer for this show before coming in you knew damn well it was not going to be sexy fun time even if you didn't watch the trailer and you didn't get a glimpse of the craziness that is this character i mean it was crystal clear that it was not going to be all sunshine and rainbows i just wasn't expecting her to go that in i realized she was going to torture him i thought like stabbing something like that but the idea of like actually saying hey if you give up you'll have to serve your sentence but if you survive, we can blame it on a demon. I'm just going to cut off your limbs. We saw how healing herbs work in this. You have to pack it in the wound and wait three days. This isn't a world where you can pour a potion and a leg's going to regrow in a minute. Even if you could, the amount of pain that probably is, like sure, he's not going to feel the exact same pain as getting an arm cut off, but it's still probably going to feel like a truck hit him. Like, this is ridiculous. And it's just so amazing to see how there are so many aspects that generally are pretty whatever. The idea of the guards letting the hero go because he's gonna, you know, the prophecy says, no, there's a bunch of crazies who say that, we're gonna throw you in the slammer. The idea of a ghost, you know, immediately saying, oh, it was an accident? My bad, and, you know, I probably should have been more careful. No, you're the reason I did this and you forgot our promise, so I'm gonna haunt you for eternity. And the girl who's finally gonna let her man have a little bit of pleasure in this game was just going to laugh in his face as he pissed himself, get himself the title of basically the Golden Shower Master, and ends up getting free because of a ridiculous situation. This man's life is pure shit, and you know, on one hand I feel bad, on the other hand I thank you for that because it makes for a ridiculously entertaining show. Honestly, the show probably could have ended right here, and I think most people would have been like, you know what, three episode OVA, pretty good show, it's funny, it's different. But on one hand, I'm really glad it's continuing. On the other hand, I hope they find a way to realistically rope him back in, because I said last week, it makes sense why he would want to continue to play that game given his life. After this, you're gonna have to have a good reason and i mean granted the author's pretty good at twisting your expectations so i'm pretty hopeful all things considered another great episode like the actual story is pretty engaging given like the main character's circumstances the game itself pretty much functions like any traditional tropey anime story we've seen but because of the realism applied it makes it actually feel different and as if you're watching, like, why would you play that? But thank you for playing it because it's kind of hilarious. I mean, honestly, who knows where we're going from here? The sky seemingly is the limit. <sighs> this kid's luck is pretty much that if he bought another game, it probably would end up being worse than this anyway. Like, I don't know. This show's great. It's funny. It's that type of dry humor in a lot of ways where rather than it trying to be like a laugh track where it's like, okay, now you laugh. This is supposed to show you just a lot of shocking things that you're like, what in the hell? And when you do bust out a laugh, it doesn't feel like it's contrived or forced. It's like, no, this is just a naturally such a ridiculous situation that honestly, this kid pissing himself, it just makes me laugh and feel very bad all at the same time. Let me know your thoughts and feelings on this week's episode. I definitely think it was the most memorable for sure, given the, just the escalation of arrest to everything that we saw from Martin time to adult fun time that really wasn't fun for one character. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Definitely those theories down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share your support, and hit that subscribe button if you're happy new around here. Since next time everyone please take care and have a good one